Hello there guys and girls, I hope you're doing well. I'm Chris O'Neill, and in this video, I want to go through some of the new MIDI out functions from Reason 11.2 within Logic. If you haven't already seen my first Reason within Logic video, I suggest you go check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. Ok, so let's start out by making a running bass line. I'm using ESM within Logic, but you can use whatever synth you prefer. Let's go to the MIDI effects. Audio Units and Reason Rack. Add another device. And let's take the Matrix Pattern Sequencer. Next, we're going to make a MIDI output from within Reason. There you go. Then we route the output of the Node CV from the sequencer and put it into the input of the MIDI device. And the same for the Gate CV. Now let's make a little sequence. Since it's a bass, let's take it down an octave. Now let's play around with the pattern a little bit. Okay, so let's start with this. Now to get it into Logic, use this little button and drag it into the arrangement window. Let's bypass reason for now and play around in the piano roll for a bit. So this is a really fast and fun way to get ideas done quickly and it makes it super easy to change it later on. Let's have a look at some drums. Ok, so let's lay down a groove. For this video I'm using Ultrabeat, but any drum machine will do. So let's check out all the sounds. And let's get a groove going. So let's go back to Reason. And then let's find the drum sequencer. First let's make sure the names are matching. So kick, yes, snare, clap, open hi-hat, closed hi-hat, right, tom 1, and tom 2. Ok, good to go. Let's make a groove. As you can see, the levels are a little bit hot, but we'll look into that later, as right now it's just about getting the ideas down. Let's add a bit of shovel. Let's take it to the extreme. And let's take it back a little bit. Unfortunately, the little MIDI out button from the step sequencer isn't available in the drum sequencer at the moment. But once you got the ideas down, it's pretty easy to recreate in the piano roll. Now let's make an arpeggio. Ok, so I've made some chords, and I want an arpeggio to go along with it. Let's check out the chords first. Ok, so let's drag the MIDI data down to a new channel. Now let's solo it. Let's open Reason. Go to Players and choose the dual arpeggio. As you can see, the device consists of two layers. First an arpeggiator, and a chord sequencer. Let's play with the arpeggio first. As you can see, you can adjust the rate.
And the Arctis? And the Direction. Let's stick with up and down. So you can get a lot of different variations out of the same chords. Okay, so that's it for me for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. All the best wishes. Take care.